movies are forgetting about that. So it's just beautiful to see a movie, a production that is educating people. Because um, it is so needed, especially in the topics that you talked about today. And it opens up the doors to people being, to being aware of reality. One of my big dreams is to play Cleopatra. And every time you see a movie that represents real life, compassion, humanity, it opens the doors to so many things. And I think a lot of times artists forget that. But just thank you. Once again, you go back to the creators. Really, truly, the woman who wrote it, directed it, produced it. Next question, right there. Stand up, please. Hi. I just have a couple of questions for the cinematographer, Andre. <laughs> Um, which camera did you guys shoot on, and what made you decide to shoot widescreen? And the last question is, how much time was spent uh, in color correcting? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, if I, um, in terms of what camera we chose, we, we chose the red, uh, the red camera. Um, for the simple reason that there was really no other choice. <laughs> if, I had, if I had my choice, it would be the film, but it, it was digital and it was shot on the red. Um, um, widescreen, why did we decide to shoot widescreen? Um, one of the main reasons why we decided to shoot widescreen is to keep the movie a little bit more room. Um, it is a very, you know, personal movie and you're always close to your characters most of the time so by shooting widescreen you're able to create a little bit more space around your character and, and you're able to look uh, and create negative space around them. That was one of the main, um, to create isolation when we could um, for the main characters. And color correction, um, that was uh, a it was longer than I thought it would be. Um, it took much longer. Um, timing on digital is a little bit more of a, I think, um, time-consuming affair. Um, you don't just sit in the room like you would with film and just watch the film and give your notes, and that's it. When you come back the next day, um, the digital it takes a lot. It's a much more time-consuming affair, and people are people even in, even within the color timing industry are still trying to really learn how to deal with it because it's, everybody's on the learning curve right now. So, um, yeah, I hope that answers all your questions. <laughs>